Hello. All right. So we're going to be a quick video uh, modifying what we talked about and setting up the platform. So first things first, we are not going to use the normal DDS. And the reason for that is it's unstable with virtual machines and especially with more than two computers. So if we open up our Bash RC, and hopefully this is already set up for you, um, you will see I've got some commented outlines. So first of all, we don't need to worry about uh, ROS domain ID anymore. We can comment that one out. Um, we, we don't actually need this line either because we are going to be using the super client XML when we use fast RTPS. Now, when you are working alone, so like at your dorm, at your house, while you're working on your projects individually, you don't need any of this. You can just simply keep everything commented out and ROS2 run, say, turtle sim. I could spell turtle. And if I open up another terminal, control shift T, do ROS2 topic list. You see, I see all the different turtle sims. Ross is behaving the way I would expect it to. Again, this is explicitly for when you're working alone. Now, when you come to class, you're going to have to do some a couple things. First, obviously, let's kill turtle sim here real quick. We don't need that. We don't need that. Yeah, we'll keep this open. So first, we're going to uncomment this line. Not, not that line, this line. And then we're going to edit this file. Now, unfortunately, unf uh, no. unfortunately, we have to keep modifying this because my IP address changed. This IP address, which is set for home, is going to be the IP address that I give you in class for where the fast DDS server is running. So you'll have to open this up, change this IP address to whatever I specify it as, save it, and then uncomment this line and save it. And then you have to perform the following functions in correct order. So we'll close that. We're going to do ROS to stop or daemon stop. Sorry, I misspelled Damon. So ROS2 Damon stop. Then we're going to close our terminal, open it up so we can resource it, and then do ROS2 Damon start. Now I, in the class, will have to run the fast DDS server, and that's run by this command. So again, this will be my, well, for me, it'd be 127.001, but um, it's very important. If you do want to run your own fast DDS dis discovery server, keep this zero. So the server ID is going to be zero because that XML has a hash code in it that is specifically linked to what, to a zero, a server ID of zero. So you have to keep that zero. This is the IP address you want to run the server on. And then the port, we'll keep it defaults 11811. Again, I would be running this in class. So once you've reopened it and you started ROS2, then you can run a turtle sim. You'll see that I do. We do have introspection still because I can see everything. Now, what would happen if you forgot to change, or if you only? I'll show you something. If you uncomment, if you comment this line and left and uncommented this line here, 
the fast DDS, and say you change the IP address to the correct IP address, the fast DDS would work. However, you would not have introspection. That means uh, you would not, if you did ROS2 topic list, you would not see anything. If you did ROS2 topic echo, you would not see anything. You would be able to publish to it, but it would not work. So, and that the reason fast DDS does that is to reduce traffic. So, this super XM, client XML, which is the one we're going to use, will allow you to essentially have introspection and use the fast DDS. Again, the fast DDS is a, a better approach for a large number of different computers. Anyway, that's a quick update on the platform. Uh, again, we'll be going through this in class. I'm sorry, one more thing. When you are, when we're done with class and you're gonna go back to working alone, just comment out this line and save bash RC. And then you're gonna do the kind of the inverse oper thing you did. You're gonna make sure all your nodes are done. Obviously you would not be running fast DDS. You're gonna kill the daemon after you just or commented out that fast DDS uh, line. So just to recap, I I've commented out this profile line. I've stopped the ROS2 daemon. Close this, reopen, and ROS2 daemon start. ROS2 run turtle sim. list and you see it's working so now I could go back to working on my own and not in a classroom environment and every all the topics would function locally with introspection and it'd be more closer to what Ross is out of the box all right thank you